The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two phenomenal, excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! How you doing there, Jeremy? I don't care for you. I know you don't. At all. No. <laughs> what? Why is that? You, well, that that's... Oh, Jesus, where do I start? <laughs> We'd make a much, much shorter list if I just listed the things that I did like about you. Oh, you like something about me? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Your wife and your truck's pretty cool. Okay, I'll take that. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's a Ranger. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. That's uh, a Ford <coughs> fucking Ranger. The only thing worse oh, well, than I thought that it was an the, Army Ranger. It could, it could maybe, yeah. The only thing worse than that's the Maverick. Yeah, that's true. You got a Ford Maverick? No, <coughs> absolutely not. Uh, but we also have another excellent, phenomenal stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Give it up for Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Woo! So hot right now. Glad to be here. I know you are. You love it. I'm pumped. You should be. I am so amped right you now. You should be. Uh, but welcome into another great episode. We've got a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, if this is the very first time you're listening to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, first of all, this is a comedy show. Where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and jokes that have absolutely nothing to do with sports, and they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, this is also an adult podcast. We like to use um, foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Bye. Whew. We got a lot of shit. We got a lot of shit, boys. We've got the sports news, real shit, horse shit, overrated or underrated questions, preguntas, and a draft. And we also do have a what's in the box again today. Um, and then we're going to finish it off, as always, with a shitty situation. But before we do all of that fun stuff, we're going to tell everybody what happened to us over the last week. So, Derek. What? What did you do, bro? I went to the doctor for the third time. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You uh, sound great, by the way. I know, man. I'm fucking real pumped to be here. I know. The <laughs> uh, only reason I'm here is because they said it might be COVID, and I'd love to give it to you. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, pass it on. Mm-hmm. That's I'd... the thing. That's it. Merry Christmas. Okay. That's good. Uh, that's the gift that keeps <laughs> on giving right there. Absolutely. That's right. So, <clears throat> no, I've got uh, an, a goddamn ear infection or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what, and it hurts like a bitch. Nice. So, I got to go do that. Um, and then what I got drunk as shit yesterday. Yep. Uh, they had our Christmas party at the, the, the bar I used to work at has a Christmas party every year and the regulars get to basically drink for free for two and a half hours. Nice. And everybody brings a dish and you kind of potluck food. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah. That's awesome. It's my favorite fucking time. It's my favorite day of the year. So I was like, you know what? I, my ear hurts and I'm on antibiotics, but fuck it. I'm still going and getting trashed. Yep. So that's what I did. Yep. And hit a couple parlays, which was nice. Yeah. And then uh, Friday, I went and saw the new Avatar movie. Mm-hmm. Um, not not too bad. It was visual visually, it was amazing. The one drawback, I think, probably the worst part of that whole movie mm-hmm. is I had fucking Scotty sitting <laughs> in eyesight, it was right in the row in front of me. <laughs> It made it unwatchable almost. Yeah, really. I couldn't even enjoy it. <laughs> I yeah. I can totally see him just blocking out an entire IMAX with his bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like an aura it's about just me. your fucking attitude <laughs> and everything about you. You know, they filmed that in my basement. Oh, did they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's impressive. I, I was really hoping that like one of those arrows would just come through the screen and just penetrate his mm-hmm. sternum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dumb question. Mm-hmm. Did it? <laughs> 
No. 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 Shit. Unfortunate. Nope. So it's it wasn't 4D like that Batman Dark Knight Rises was in, <laughs> no. in Colorado. They, but, that was a 4D showing. Yeah, but how was the movie? I just told you. Uh, no, but how was the Batman movie? Oh, it was fucking Great. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie piracy saves lives. I'll that's tell right. you what. That's right. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what I did. Nothing else? No, well, that was a pretty full weekend. I got drunk, yeah. watched Avatar, and hit some parlays. <laughs> that's a goddamn good weekend. That's a great All weekend. All with a fucking ear infection. That's yeah. right. Boom. Uh, yes, I... Uh, What'd you do, you fucking loser? <laughs> Actually, I uh, ended you up... You went and ruined a fucking movie <laughs> for a bunch of people. I sure Absolutely. Did. Dude, the IMAX 3D is the shit. It is so fucking awesome. I used to think that like the 3D is just kind of stupid and it didn't really have it a place. I'm fucking wrong. Holy shit, it was so awesome. And he, and he's right. It was it was pretty good. I really did like the movie. Um, it was very predictable. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, but it, in my opinion, it was pretty predictable of what was going to happen. I spoil it. Oh, no, it's okay. I, no, I always, too. back when video stores were a thing, mm-hmm. I always wanted to get a job working at a video store, and whenever someone would rent something that has like a twist at the ending, oh, like, yeah. oh, that's a good one, six yeah. cents. You know, he's dead the whole time. <laughs> that's right. Like, oh, <laughs> Citizen Kane. <laughs> Funny thing about that, Rosebud was the name of the sled. <laughs> I, I kind of did that. <laughs> Uh, you know that still wife. doesn't ruin the movie. It no. doesn't. No, no. I've never even thought Orson Welles does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, but no, it was it was excellent. I really <clears throat> did have a really good time. We did accidentally do the same night that Derek was going, so I do apologize to everybody who was in that theater that I ruined. You should have sat in the front row. Scotty. I, I, you can't do that Be at a an fan. IMAX. Be a true fan. Sit yeah, in the front I know. Row. I know. Uh, but it was. It was very good. I did like it. Um, and I guess they have, like, enough, uh, like, footage to make, like, four more movies of that. And uh, spoiler alert, you're going to get another one. So let, let me guess. Mm. Humans are bad. <laughs> yeah, they are. Huh? Uh, uh, yeah. I'll be damned. Shocker. Uh, but, yeah. Um, then uh, my uh, stepdad got me um, – a birthday present that he gets me every single year. Uh, he takes us to beat uh, your ass. No, <laughs> he takes us to Interest Bank Arena whenever Wichita State plays basketball there <clears throat> once a year. That's the only time they play there. And let me tell you, I don't want to go anymore. That's about all he can put up <laughs> with you is about I once a year. God. So you went and ruined a basketball game for everybody I did, too. I did. I sure did. It was uh, awful. It was absolutely horrendous. Who did they play? Oklahoma State. Oklahoma right? State yep. got their asses did handed they? to him. Um, I was very embarrassed uh, on the uh, for the head coach of the Wichita State Shockers. Uh, he is not a good coach. Uh, there was so many times where I was expecting out of a timeout, you're in a good spot to run a set play um, and did not do it. It's like he just got in the fucking huddle and just went, all right, uh, just go ahead and get the ball in and uh, run the offense. It was embarrassing. So not a good time. Uh, let's see anything else I did. Yeah, I, uh, I, we did have some fantasy football mm-hmm. and, uh, I am still in it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to adjust my headphones. I am still alive. Fuck I am, you, Scotty. I am alive. There is not a very good chance. You know, we're already not happy that you're alive. And now that you're uh-huh. still in the playoffs, that's not helping either. Yes. No. I would, I'll be honest with you. I would rather that you weren't still alive and <laughs> still in the fantasy playoffs. Okay. I mean, if I had to trade one, but uh, in a perfect world, neither would be happening. Mm-hmm. You uh, know, the, the, thing, the good thing is, though, um, anyone who hasn't paid their fantasy football dues uh, is automatically stripped of any kind of title. Do I owe you money? You've never paid. Oh, shit. Well, you I'll get you paid. fucking on. deadbeat. You should have told me. I'd have so paid you. I was waiting now. to strip the title. I don't know. No, it's... it's so you didn't it's pay. You fucked up the whole draft. Yeah, I did. And then you pull an asshole move like what you did yesterday. Of beating Jeremy of Joseph. beating me, yes. Yes, you're darn right I did. <clears throat> Which so. was... Bullshit. I was well on my way to beating you. But and you the didn't. goddamn Kansas City Chiefs defense. Yeah. I chose them over the Niners because they were playing maybe the most lackluster offense in the history of the NFL. The Houston Texans. And the Texans just moved the ball at will against them. You That's know, those great. Chiefs. They fans. got one sack. One fucking. That was the only defensive point that they gave me <laughs> all goddamn weekend. Meanwhile, the fucking Niners would have gotten me nine points, and I think I would have won. No, you still would have lost. 
Okay. Yeah. You still Those well. fucking Chief fans sure did talk a lot of shit about Dallas barely getting by the Texans. Mm-hmm. They sure did. And then they fucking took them to overtime. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas did need <laughs> overtime. Yeah. No, they did. Sure did. Uh, but how was your week there, Mr. Jeremy Joseph? Fine. Fine. I worked all weekend again. I haven't had a day off since Thanksgiving weekend. I won't have one until I get my nice long Christmas break. Um, my son, for reasons I won't go into, was uh, going through some uh, old boxes of shit uh, that his mom had mm-hmm. and uh, sent me pictures of uh, apparently toy. in there was a, 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 basically, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> one of my old senior pictures. Oh. <laughs> You're going to send that to me later, Jeremy? I. Why are you looking to beat off to something? <laughs> yeah, he's got a, can, he, can, he, can you email that so we can print it off? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know we all change, but Jesus Christ, I didn't even recognize myself. <laughs> Were you like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. You, you want to see it? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah it's not it, you, Scotty. Well, just send it to me and I'll I'm put not, it up on I'm the, not on the episode. I'm shit to you. Oh, fuck you. Um, then, okay, we got story coming. Uh, oh, yay. My favorite. Oh, let's see this. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's no. you? That's me, yeah. No fucking wow. way. Wow. Oh, wow. Man. I never would Look at that, that piece of meat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he is going to beat off to it. I might. I bet. That's why I'm not sending it to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one I got Should. left of those. You're going to stain it all up. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Do the old yearbook quote on the back of it. Yeah. Except it's to Scotty. Stay lame. Have a bad summer. Listen, here's the thing about, I followed the advice of some of those. I haven't changed. Good. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And I did have a kick-ass summer. I did. I really did. Uh, So anyhow, then uh, I got uh, an email from Harbor Freight Tools. Oh, with a coupon in it for 30% off. Of course, it's got all their restrictions and bullshit that they usually put on. You can't get any of their premium brands or anything. Uh, for those not familiar, Harbor Freight is a very discounted tool store where they mostly sell junk, and I don't stand behind many of their tools. But there's one thing I've been wanting to get, uh, a sawdust collector. Oh, yeah. Uh, people have been saying that it's like the rare jewel that they have it's worth it it normally sells for 300 bucks uh people are like it's as good as any 1500 dollars dust collection system wow so now i got this coupon so i go to get this thing and uh i i get the little ticket for it they got to go get it out of the back and i'm standing in line waiting and there's a very nice lady checking people out and uh they were running a promotion where if you bought 30 dollars worth of merchandise um you got a free five gallon bucket. Ooh. People, um, some people want those. Uh, what I was sitting there thinking is the last fucking thing I need is another five gallon bucket. <laughs> I've got, uh, I got more buckets than I got hammers. Yeah. I guess. And that's a lot. Wow. Uh, so, <clears throat> anyways, um, I get, there's like two people ahead of me, and each one of them got damn near $30 worth of stuff, and, and they're like, if, if you buy just a, a couple more things and they got shit up there by the registers, if you buy $30 worth of merchandise, you get the free bucket. And so people would buy like a $2 item so they could get this free bucket, right? So I get up there and uh, show her the, the coupon. She checks me out. I've got that and I've got a, an accessory kit. Mm-hmm. It's like, so before uh, the coupon was for just over 400 bucks. And then I show her the coupon and it takes it down quite a bit. And, uh, but you know, still almost three hundred bucks, and um, just jokingly, I go. Uh, so do I get a bucket? <laughs> and apparently, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Her whole fucking demeanor changed. Oh, really? It was like suddenly she's had enough <laughs> of my bullshit. <laughs> no, that you don't get that if you use uh, a coupon. This promotion is only good with if you don't use any other promotions. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> you, and you I, I, I said, like, I said, uh, oh, I just, I just figured thirty dollars was thirty dollars. It don't work that way. <laughs> Jesus, she got pissed. And there's kind of a line forming behind me, and now they're getting fed up, but not with me, with her. Wow. Some guy goes, just give him a damn bucket. <laughs> so now a different customer and this customer <laughs> service rep person, this, this checkout lady, are fighting. For me, <laughs> for a bucket 
that I don't want. <laughs> I'm actually relieved to find out I don't get a bucket. She calls the manager over. Oh, my God. To, would you please explain to him? I'm not the one fighting about it, by the way. Would you, but she's pointing to me. Could you please explain to him that if he uses a coupon, he doesn't get the bucket deal? And so, oh, yeah, yeah, it's not available with any other. I mean, we could probably give him a bucket. No, that's against the policy. She got super enraged when he tried to concede. And so... I'm like, it, it's okay. I, I don't need the bucket. And people behind me are legitimately getting pissed with Harbor Freight for not giving me a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just pay for my shit. And she, she goes, they'll meet you out front. Just pull around front. And so I do. And the guy who brings it out to me is that same manager. And he's like, he, he looked like a whip dog. <laughs> he just goes, Seriously, man, next time they do a promotion like that, if you use a coupon, just know you can't, you can't get it. <laughs> he was scared shitless of this woman. But she went from being the nicest person in the world, helping people out to get a bucket, to, oh, I'm sick of your shit already. <laughs> oh, wait till. It was, it was the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. Wait, uh, wait, you was, should see him at Lowe's. <laughs> no, I'm ready to fight there. I didn't go to Harbor Freight. One thing I can tell you, you know what you don't see a lot of at Harbor Freight? Uh, khakis and polos. Yeah. And people with college degrees. Right. There's a lot of car hearts and trucker caps and camo. Uh-huh. Uh, so, yeah, I knew that, one, I didn't want to have this argument. I was just kind of making a joke. joke yeah. Because I figured, surely I'm getting, I bought way more money worth of shit. <laughs> than what these guys did. Surely I'm getting a bucket to which I was going to turn it down. But uh, that was a mistake. That, <laughs> that, that led, led to some real shit. That was a fucking hornet's nest. I would have loved to have been the guy behind you in line. Yes. Because as soon as you walked out, I guarantee she's like, I know he ain't, don't ever think you can get a bucket like that with a coupon. Like I can guarantee I'm bringing you, you a try bucket. Me. You try me. Uh-uh, I know. Yep. I'm buying thirty dollars just to I, run you down the parking lot so I can get you a goddamn bucket. What would have been I, funnier? I've <laughs> I've had a lot of experiences with Harbor Freight employees. It's coming off. Sorry, I was fixing his mic. His little. You want to tap my microphone too? <laughs> no, I'm good. There. Is that is that the podcast equivalent of a nut tap? <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, uh, so anyhow, um, where was I? Say, oh, I've had a lot of experience with uh, in dealing with Harbor Freight employees. And most of them could, their whole demeanor is, fuck this place. Yeah. I hate this fucking job. I don't give a shit. Wait, take all the buckets for all I care. <laughs> this was the guardian of the buckets. I, <laughs> it was such a strange experience. But I got a pretty nice uh, dust collector out of it. Nice. She's coming for that guy's job. Yeah, she is. Um, what would have been really funny is if you were like, you know, no, no, not if you use a coupon. You should have been like, God, you know. Go ahead and just get rid of that coupon. <laughs> yeah. Give me that bucket. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I say that for the hundred and thirty dollar principle. I, just, I, you I, know what? That that bucket is God that look great it on saved my man. Me over a hundred bucks, but god damn, that's a five dollar bucket. <laughs> I just keep fucking with her. Can I just buy the goddamn bucket? You should just put it on my tab. Or go, hey, hey, so if I don't use the coupon, I can get the bucket. <laughs> and she's like, Yeah. Be like, uh, Hey man, you want to go in front of me? I got a decision to make. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Hey, honey. So here's the deal. Um, <laughs> call her on the phone. My my whole thing is okay. It's not that I've never gone into a place and started some trouble, <laughs> but you? I didn't here, and <laughs> trouble found me. Just you know, hardware stores they just love Jeremy. I don't even know. That's more of a software store, okay, really. Whatever. That's a, a shitty one. <laughs> it is. Most of their stuff I do not recommend. Yeah. I got I got a drill press from there one time that yeah, you may told as us well about that KitchenAid mixer. <laughs> yeah, you told us about that one. Yeah, that's oh, uh, shit. And and yeah, if this was any kind of a precision tool or anything, I would not have bought it. But because it's just basically a big vacuum. Mm hmm. Yeah, I good shit. Did it. Yeah, I uh, I did forget. I, I did one other thing this weekend. I, okay, I had to do that Christmas party. Uh huh. And not the oh one yeah, I drank stand up, the stand, stand up. up. Yeah, yeah. I did stand up with Me uh, Megan Welch was there. She was the other comic, and she was fantastic, as usual. Mm -hmm. Um, and 
God, I got up. Or they had the guy that, that booked me. He's he's done open mic and stuff, so he went up and did like five minutes. Of course he did. And then uh, br- and then he hosted it, brought me up, brought Megan up. So that was nice. Uh, but when I, like midway through his five minutes, the mic just cuts. Oh, no. It's no mic. And they're like, we can't figure out what's going on. So he's Did still- he overrun the light? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's still talking into the mm-hmm. mic, like, but there's no mic. And so it's kind of weird. And then I go up, and Christmas music is playing, like like it should. Yeah, it's so I still have no mic. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, when you were talking in the mic, something got fucked up to where you're in the lobby, so the lobby can hear you. Oh, but, yeah. So they were trying to fix that, so they took the mic where, away. Where was this party? Kansas Star Casino. Oh wow! So it was in one of the rooms in the back there. Uh huh. So it's not going out to the whole. Casino floor. No, it's okay, going okay, out in okay. the hallway. Wow. That, Jeez, that would have been that some would have exposure been right there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. Who is this guy? we got to go see him. <laughs> so, so so I get the mic, and finally, after about two or three minutes, they fix it, and, and it's okay. But I was uh, I had made uh, one joke, which I, I got a kick out of. When it first started, I was like, you know, that's really cool that they let all you guys, you know, they, they take you to the casino so you can, you know, this party is going to end up, you're going to lose $700. That's great. Mm-hmm. I said, uh, you know, it's nice that your company at least does this for you, though. Like, all we ever got was a pizza party. Yeah. You know, which sounds great, except when you work at a fucking Little Caesars. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that did pretty well. I was pretty pleased with that. They so. brought in Pizza Hut. Yeah. Uh, anything else there, Jeremy? Did you have a good week? Uh, was that your all your week? Was it a bucket story? As far as I can recall, yeah, okay. pretty much. Still up in the air about this whole. She's alluded to sweet potatoes, <laughs> and that she's <laughs> gonna have one again soon. Yeah. But, uh, aside from that, I'm just uh, mentally preparing myself. Wednesday, my father-in-law gets in, so oh. the day this episode drops. Uh huh. Yeah. He wasn't going to come because he did get COVID, oh. but apparently now he's testing negative. So, oh, damn it. Darn it. I bet you he's going to one up you with something shittier. One down. <laughs> one, down, one, down, down one down. One down. One down. One down you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Jim was like, God, you know, I, I had I had COVID the other, you know, a couple, about six weeks ago. And he's going to go, yeah, I know what you mean. I had a, <laughs> allergies real bad. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I had a cramp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, well, uh. All of you guys out there listening, by the time that this episode comes out, uh, Christmas will be right around the corner. Still is right around the corner, Scott. It yep. will be. <laughs> it will be Christmas this weekend. So those of you guys who are traveling, please be safe. Uh, we want you to get there, uh, but we also want you to listen to this show uh, while you're traveling. So if you're not traveling yet, stop and wait until yeah. And if we don't like you, text and drive. That's right. <laughs> Make yeah, sure that's you right. Text and drive. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to be getting some fucking snow here in the uh, Midwest, and I, I've been told lots of it. So that's Nice, oh. you can finally use that fucking snowboard. I that's sure cool. can. That's I'm going to take that dust collector, go out and s- suck it all up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go down a hill here in Kansas. I'll just take the, the collection bag off of, and yeah. it'd be a snowblower. That's, that's, yeah, right, that's what yeah. I want. You should. Uh, but anyways, we got a lot of sports to get to, but before we do that... That's gotta, what a snowman hooker would sound like. I think that's what you... That should be a snowblower. Snowblower, hell yeah. Sure, yeah. absolutely. A snow hooker. Yeah. One that doesn't give full service, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it's a snowblower. Uh, but we want to give a... That sh- was so bad. <laughs> we I, wanna, I'm, I'm trying to make something out of it. I, yeah. <laughs> we want to get to that stuff, You know, but, the other thing that I was going to say... Yeah. Never, never mind. Are you trying to get to something? Yes, here? I'm kind of like trying. what? I'm What's trying. more important than snowblowers, Scotty? We're talking fucking snowblowers here. Power we're tools. We're trying to hash out fucking sexual snow people. Okay, that's fine. That well, makes me want to go to Harbor Freight and buy their snowblower. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been standing here with snow on my dick yeah. <laughs> for 15 minutes. Yeah. Do I get a bucket? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a bucket to come in, please? Yeah. Uh, but no, let's move on to ball shavers. You guys want to do that? Give a shout out to our sponsor, manscaped.com. Yep. Those are pick, not sold at Harbor Freight. They are not. Say pick one up at Harbor Freight. Yeah. They don't. I, I, they may even come in a bucket, actually. I'm not sure. 
You I know, know I sometimes come in buckets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if you use the code sidelines, you get 20% off and a free bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah, um, that's a promise we actually can't back up. <laughs> that being said, I, I do actually have the buckets to back that up, but I, I have no idea how to get it to the people. Manscaped doesn't share the orders with me. Well, because you so. use the promo code sidelines, you don't get that fucking bucket. You got to drop ship it. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. It's not, the bucket's not available with any promo code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, they make no, <laughs> no. You don't get it. <laughs> uh, but no, they make excellent products like the Lawnmower 4.0 to help you shave and trim your balls, nuts, uh, your dick, and your butthole. Uh, so uh, they have the adjustable LED light on that lawnmower 4.0 with a sure docking do. station. It is a state of the art tool to help you groom your downstairs and look more attractive to your spouse. Believe me. They Go don't. ahead and turn the lights off. Yeah, that's right. They Absolutely. Do it. Fuck. Do it in the fucking dark, baby. Uh, but check them out. They've got a whole bunch of other products like the weed whacker for your ear and nose hair. They have the, uh, you know, the, the nice thing about that adjustable light is if somebody has theirs turned all the way up and they're in the same room yeah. as you and it's in your eyes, you can just flash <laughs> your light at them. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Like somebody who's driving with their high beams on. Oh, big time. I, that's why I keep mine in the truck. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's I'll, exactly right. I'll sometimes just stand in the middle of the road and shake my balls. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I hitchhike. Nice. I do it while I'm hitchhiking. There you go. Well, yeah, you can use that as a road flare. Yeah. Sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They can see it from miles away. That's you right. Rescue choppers and shit. Mm -hmm. I, I, don't, that. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but um, we um, our neighborhood has like a, Chris, like a Christmas decorating contest. Oh, yeah. And um, I am in line to win this year. Oh. For what I did was I took a bunch of lawnmower 4.0s and turned the lights on all around the gutters. Yeah. And uh, pretty fucking awesome. I'm sure it makes that buzz. You got hooked, the up, time. <laughs> hooked up to a timer that they beat to music <laughs> and all that shit. Yeah, yeah nice. Uh, but they have 94.3 FM. They, oh, yeah. Sweet. They do have other products like the uh, Weed Whacker. They also have the Shears. They have Ball Toner, the which is witch. awesome. They have the, the Ditch Witch. No, they don't. What? Uh, and then they do also have the Ball Deodorant. Uh, but they have tons of products that you can go to manscaped.com. Use a promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and no free bucket, but you do get free shipping. So check them out at manscaped.com. When do they discontinue the Ditch Witch? They, they never had it. They're coming out with that it, next it's year. Still that's, an, it's, that's, that's, it's, that's a 2023 thing. Yeah, it's still uh, an R&D, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, but we, that's that's what gets the dingleberries out. That's right. The butt crack. Uh -huh. The ditch witch, the trencher. Right. <laughs> God. Well, let's move on to the fun stuff that happened over this week. I know that there were some baseball trades. I saw that uh, What's-His-Nuts is going to uh, Boston. Who's that? Turner. Turner. Mm -hmm. Ted Turner? He's no. buying. Yeah, yeah. He, he's he, buying wow. the Red Sox Yeah, he's, he's buying the Red Sox. Yeah, can damn. You, can you own more than one team? I think Does so. Does he still own the Braves? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but no, Turner. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, oh, Justin Turner? From L.A. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's going to Boston. They can have him. Yeah, they can. Uh, but uh, other than that, I didn't really see any other stuff to really keep, you know, all that. Uh, I mean, uh, baseball. Dansby Swanson. Yeah. God damn it. I didn't want that. Yep, you got but it. Everybody thinks I'm going to, I'm like, Overreacting? I don't think so. He's a two fifty five career hitter. Mm -hmm. He hit two seventy last year, struck out one hundred and eighty three times, I believe, mm -hmm. and was the fifth best hitter on a very protected lineup. He was very protected. Yeah. So he, we just got Jason Hayward two point oh. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, but yeah, but the more important stuff happened in a little sport we call football. And one I, time All Star Dan's and friends. I do not mean the fucking World Cup. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's our, once more than me. It, oh, I'll be honest. Okay, I never made the Major League All Star game. How the fuck that? that, that you were the because they don't appreciate defensive. defense. Oh, That's okay. why. All right. You know you can get a hundred seventy seven million dollar contract with defense nowadays. Sure. I couldn't for the life of me get the pitcher to just hold it <laughs> right over <laughs> the plate so that I could hit it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> great, good stuff. Uh, but it's no, great stuff, Scotty. Great stuff. Now let's move on to the NFL. Brock Purdy pretty much managed the entire game uh, for the 49ers. He had two touchdowns, and they beat the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, what do you do in this particular situation with Jimmy G and Trey Lance? You trade Brock Purdy. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yes. He's a rookie. Yeah. I don't know. 
If you can get if you can get a first or second round pick for him, fucking trade him. I don't. I I think you go youth. I think you you keep Purdy and get. He's rid a of, year younger than Trey Lance. Yeah. That's no, not, I don't want two. Trey Lance. Well, no, you don't. But you've kind of invested in him as a first round pick. You've got a lot more money in him. He's got no trade value. Purdy, you've got nothing in him as the last pick of the draft, mm-hmm. and you can probably if he if he takes them to a Super Bowl or God forbid wins it. You could probably get a team's next two first rounders out of him. Maybe, but I don't know if I would want to trade him. I almost want to keep him and then get rid of all the other shit. I bet you you could probably get some draft picks out of Jimmy G and Trey Lance. But he's kind of shown that anybody can step in and do that job. It really is. I mean, that's what he's true. He he's doing. He did what Jimmy Garoppolo did. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. He's he's doing Jimmy G as good as anybody else can. Yeah, he did what Jimmy G did with the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Well, or what Jimmy G did at the freaking 49ers. Just step in, don't turn the ball over, and throw to players that are all-stars. Yeah, I mean, I've seen this go wrong too many times. Uh, You know, a guy steps in, does a great job for part of a season, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, he's going to be a superstar. And it never tends to work out. Matt Castle. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus. Mike My- Williams, I know that's going back a ways. But, uh, yeah, there's been so many guys. Stan Humphreys. Uh, Rick Myrer. Mm-hmm. My whole deal, though, is if he wins a Super Bowl, he he's going to be your starting quarterback. Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. True. But I think, I think that they In will. very much the same way. Mm-hmm. With a similar team. Uh, stifling defense. Yep. And you just had to do enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you guys see the uh, Miami Dolphins Buffalo Bills game? No, the, I watched the first half of it. Yeah, I had to be in bed by eight thirty because uh, okay. I get up at three a.m. Right, I saw the very end of it. I watched the fourth, the end of the fourth quarter. The referees actually had to stop the game uh, because Buffalo Bills fans were throwing. Oh yeah, I did see that part. Players. That's great. They weren't just throwing them; it was raining yeah. snowballs to the point where I thought that's just what snow looked like in <laughs> Buffalo. It yeah. just comes down in big clumps. Yeah, exactly. Oh uh, yeah, they did. They were lighting up. <laughs> they were lighting people up. They they hit a dolphin <laughs> receiver while he was trying to make a touchdown. Yeah, catch so much for that. That's fantastic. Yeah. I think it's great. That's good job, Bills Mafia. That's I just awesome. Love the Bills fans. I do too. They're I the best fans in football. You think so? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'll go with you on that. Uh, next I think one, Bills fans and then Cowboys fans. Sure. The oh, that's yeah. so a lot rough. of style and grace to them. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Like Yankee fans. Class. Yeah. Raider uh, fans, they're up there. Yeah, they are. See that game? Yeah. The Raiders yeah. game? Oh, are we'll, you kidding we'll me? It. Oh, I'm my sure. God. Oh, yeah. I'll just go ahead and go right to it. The Patriots lateral backfires and the Raiders return a game-winning touchdown in the closing seconds. And they were tied. And they were yes. tied. Yeah. What are you doing, Ramondre Stevenson? Well, it's, uh, I mean, he had a pretty safe, Lateral, it was Jacoby Myers. Yeah, the threw trying it. to throw it back to uh, what's his nuts uh, Jones. Jones. Yeah. Why can't I? Why couldn't I pull the name Jones? I don't know <laughs> Jones. I mean that's it's a tough one. It's, it's nothing exotic. That's Jones, and I couldn't pull that name. Yeah, we got um, to get those bracelets. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we sure do. I mean, it was just such a comic, uh, a, a comic of errors there, but. Yeah, you just go down. Once you know you're not going to score, you don't take any chances, and you take your chances in overtime. Did you know? I can, I can hear Jeremy. That now. wasn't even a poor coaching decision. That no, was, no, apparently it was on the players. Yeah. The, Jacoby Myers has accepted full responsibility, as has Mac Jones, for not making the tackle. tackle. Instead, he got stiff-armed like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> he got ran the fuck uh-huh. over. I just like to imagine now Jeremy going up to do karaoke or something and said, Me and Mrs. What is that? I don't know. Jones. Jones. <laughs> Jones. That's it. Mrs. Yeah. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Jones. Jeez. We got a thing going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so fun. You think that's why he said it so many times like that? So he can remember. Commi- yeah. Committed it to memory. Old Mrs. sales trick. Yeah. Jones. <laughs> Jones. Mrs. Jones. Yeah. Uh, do you realize that there have only been two games in NFL history that have been won 
uh, by a lateral uh, that is uh, successful or a scoring lateral. I know one of them. Yep, and Music that, City Miracle, uh, Tennessee Mi- Titans, Miami. That it that it was the game winning like their time had expired. Yeah, that was uh, no. Right. It's there's one uh, one other one, and it is uh, the Miami Dolphins did a lateral against the uh, Patriots. New England Patriots, and then uh, this is the second one because they consider it a lateral that ended up being a return for a touchdown and it was a go ahead. Well, the Music touchdown. City Miracle. That's what right? I said. The Titans Bills. I saw it on this is what they said. I'm well, just saying the I game mean, that was a playoff game. I don't know if that makes a difference in that list. I don't know. That that was the yeah. two that they listed, but I well, they're I, wrong. And this it's worked is, in college. This is NFL memes uh, on Facebook. That's who had it. So. Ow. Oh well, uh, you got to yeah. trust it then. I guess yeah, we're okay, fucking wrong. They're fucking wrong. This clear cut example that we're telling you about that we clearly yeah, remember. He, did. he threw it back questionably backwards, and they ended up running it all the way in, and they scored. Now, but I don't I, think time expired. Though. I, think, get, I will say this. I had a memory of that being a series of laterals, and turns out, no, it was just the just one. Just one, yeah. And so, and that, that is what happened, but it was still because of a lateral. Right. Somebody get Trill Sports on the phone, see if they can. Yeah, see what they got. Yeah, man, I hope they're doing good. That's uh, our research team. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, guys over at Trill Sports. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's no, right. Uh, Ever since Mitch quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, what? I, I actually heard from him this weekend. He was at the movie theater, too. Oh. And <laughs> boy, there's nothing you won't fuck up for that guy, Scotty. That's true. <laughs> Uh, the Vikings come back from a 33-point deficit to beat the Colts in overtime. Man, Matt Ryan, God, you love blowing leads. I literally watched the first half of this and went, this is bullshit. I'm going to go put my dust collector together. <laughs> they said the Mistake! Odds. <laughs> the odds got as high as like was it like three hundred? Oh, it was, it was nuts! Yeah, I'd have put ten bucks on that. Just sure, for, eh, fuck it. It'll, it you would have been hard pressed to find a bookie who would take it just on the off chance. Fanduel right. would have, mm-hmm. would they? Yeah, yeah. they would have. Uh, but well, uh, I still do live bookies. Yeah, under the <laughs> table type shit. I don't I, like this legal gambling bullshit. Now I, I want my gambling to be seedy. <laughs> now all I get is emails threatening to break my legs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That is the largest comeback in NFL history, mm-hmm. is what I saw. 33 points. It was How 32. How many fans and left? 33. Oh, I bet you a whole bunch. Because they eh, booed. At halftime? They booed know. the fuck out of them at halftime. Well, I mean. That's oh, why they played better. Hey, all we have to do is something that's never been done before. Right. That's it. By a team that is soundly whipping our ass. <laughs> you never, and, ever leave a game early. You and, don't. And this, it's not even that the Colts were whipping their ass. The Vikings were whipping their own ass. Right. They were just giving the ball away. They sure were. And the Colts were taking advantage. Uh-huh. Well, I, I'm guessing Jeff Saturday ain't going to get to keep his job. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, but the Detroit Lions have won six out of their last seven games after beating the Jets in New Jersey. Do the Lions make the playoffs? No. Really? No. Come on, man. They've won six games or seven. They're on fire. Seven. Yeah, Man. They, they are on fire. I think that they they make the playoffs. No, nah, they won't. And what what do they got to get to? Half to a make game the back. Playoffs? They're half a game back. Yeah, and the remainder in, of their schedule in the schedule? wild card race. Yes, because I believe Minnesota wrapped up the division. This they weekend, did. Right? Um, they are going to be behind. I believe it is the Washington Commanders as of now. So I think that with their remaining schedule, I think. With as hot as they are getting, I think they make the playoffs. Who's left on their schedule? Um, I'll pull it up. The here Bears. Uh-huh. Uh, Although that's a win. Exactly. I, th- their schedule is not all that scary. So I will pull it up. And we I'll, locked back up with the number two pick, though, thanks to uh, fucking Denver winning. So I yep, appreciate yep, that. Yep, that's exactly right. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, shit. It's not pulling it up oh, like God I want damn it. Dude. You there sure, we sure go. do that schedule, though. You're uh, the their Car- remaining schedule. It is. Uh, the Carolina Panthers, the Chicago Bears, and the Green Bay Packers. Those are all mm-hmm. winnable games. Yeah. Very much so, yes. Mm-hmm. And they are a legit team. Yes. And their defense is just getting better. It's not like they're just getting lucky here. They're beating mm-hmm. people. Yeah. yeah. Fuck the Lions. I'm just saying. Go Lions, baby. Uh, let's see. Next one, the Jaguars top the Dallas Cowboys in overtime on Rashawn Jenkins pick six. Is this just basically the cycle of the Dallas Cowboys? Do they make the playoffs and get beat in the first fucking round? 
They're going to win the Super Bowl, baby. No fucking way. Yeah. I don't buy it for one <clears throat> second. I would, Jeremy, what do you think? What was the question again? <laughs> do you think that the Dallas Cowboys basically repeat history like they do every year, which is look good, make the playoffs, and then lose in the first round? Jones. It was Jones. <laughs> Ed Too Tall um, Jones? Yeah. Too Tall. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, right. Too Tall Jones. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, yeah, they're... They're going to make it into the playoffs, and they're going to lose. Uh, yeah, they're, I agree. They are playing horrible football at the worst possible time. Uh-huh. I think so, too. Uh, and unfortunately, it really fucking sucks, but uh, they play the uh, Philadelphia Eagles this coming up week, who, which you would think would be a great game. However, Jalen Hurts actually ended up spraining his shoulder, and I can't remember if it's his throwing shoulder or if it's his off shoulder, but if you're in command of the NFC, do you let him sit out or do you make him play against the Dallas Cowboys? Well, Where, the where's the game at? Dallas. It's in Dallas. You make you sit him out. You sit him out. If it's at home, I think you'd have a riot if you sat him. Okay, but b- just because it's the Cowboys and, and it's everybody, the hometown hates the yeah. Cowboys. Oh yeah. But if you're on the road, I don't think you have to worry about that. Oh. Uh, they basically got the number one spot wrapped up, don't they? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they they it's they got to win one game. They got to win one game. And the yeah. other, and Minnesota has to win out. Yeah. Right. And it looks more and more like he's not going to play because as of right now, as we were doing this uh, podcast, the Dallas Cowboys are favored by six. So that pretty much tells me that that's probably who is their backup. Uh, Gardner Minshew, Minshew, yeah, Scotty's favorite. They still might could win with him, right? I mean, it's a it's a freaking. He pulls off some weird shit, and the Cowboys are playing. He's got to be at least as good as as whoever the quarterbacks are for the fucking Texans. Yeah. And the Texans pushed the Cowboys to the mm-hmm. limit. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, last but certainly not least, does Tom Brady sign with another NFL team at the end of the season? It's possible. There are some teams that are looking at him to see if he would, one of them being the Patriots. And then uh, the other one uh, that I heard today was the Las Vegas Raiders. Was an, was another spot for him to he go. Won't go to, he won't go there. I don't know. He might. Why would he want? I think. To, he, why would he want to continue this? It is so. It, it's embarrassing. What I he's do too. Doing. I agree. It is so fucking embarrassing. He was just basically throwing it to the other team. He was throwing it to the Bengals yesterday. Yeah. Three interceptions in the second half. Yeah. I don't. I don't think he looks good at all. His defense has to be furious with him, probably, just for the fact that you know, keep us off the field for more than two goddamn plays before you throw it away, would you? Yeah. It was bad. Yes. I think in, if it were me, I, I would bow out. This would be my last season. You had a run. You got uh, Tampa Bay a Super Bowl. You could be in a, a laughing stock or a huge embarrassment going to Las Vegas and trying to run that team. So I, I would say this: you should bow out. I think you should bow out, Scotty. No. Right now. Right no. now. No. Right now. No. Or in Scotty's case, curtsy out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, asshole. And curtsy your way to the door. Yeah. All right. Well, that was the sports news for yeah, take this week. Take your ass week. home, Scotty. I am home. Fuck. Um, but now we get to move on to the fun stuff. This is real shit or horse shit. Self-explanatory. It's our version of true or false. And uh, we got some good ones this week. The first real shit or horse shit is real shit or horse shit. 20 years ago, I was pumped for a banger ringtone, and now my phone has been on silent mode for the last five years. That's 100% real shit. Mm-hmm. That is... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to always have it, like, all the way up blasting, and yep. now... Nope, it's on silent, and most yeah. of the time I don't hear I don't hear think it. mine has ever been off silent. I don't think so, either. I remember one time we were... <laughs> The movie Step Brothers, which is a fucking classic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a there's a scene in the movie Step Brothers that I fucking love, and it's whenever they're f- fighting in the front yard, Dale and Brennan, Will Ferrell and John oh, yeah. C. Riley, and uh, Will Ferrell is screaming rape, uh-huh. and uh, <laughs> John C. Riley is holding a bicycle over his head. <laughs> yeah. And, and the mother's now scolding them on the couch, and she is like, you yelled rape <laughs> at the top of your lungs. And he's like, I honestly thought I was going to be raped. <laughs> he had this crazy look in his eye. And at one point he said, let's get it on. <laughs> and John C. Riley's like, I was talking about the fight. I'm so not a raper. <laughs> and, and 
I found a clip that just said, I'm so not a raper. And it was John C. Riley. Yeah. And I put that as my text tone. And we were, I was flying from Vegas or to Vegas. And every, you got your phone off. Everybody's got it in airplane mode, you know. And, oh, yeah. And we land. And, and I turn, I'm the first person apparently to turn my phone on on the plane. Dead silence. And you just hear, I'm so not a raper. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. I got about half the plane giggling. That was <laughs> That's uh. fucking great. Yeah, this is real shit. 100% real shit. I don't think I've had my uh, any uh, my last four four phones have been on silent vibrate all the time. Jeremy? I I don't think I've ever had one that had like actual words to it, but way back in the day when I had a flip phone, you know, I would download ringtones that were just kind of sounded like the song, uh-huh. but it wasn't actually. I had nothing but a G thing, <laughs> which uh, I had that for everybody except my wife, who was ding 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 ding. <laughs> of course it was. Um, you know what my wife's ringtone is? I don't. Hang on. <laughs> oh shit! But, oh wait, yeah. I might know what this is. But I am I, so excited for this right she now. Hates is it, it me and Mrs. Jones? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Where is it sounds? Here we go. Uh oh. I'm so excited for this. This is my wife's ringtone. Oh, bring that fatty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to get it in my mouth. I want to get it in my mouth. Whoa, I want to suck on your fatty. <laughs> She God, fucking that hates is it. The only good thing Mark Ribelle has ever done, <laughs> oh, ever. I was getting ready to say he does a really awful live show. Uh, How man. the fuck would you know? You, you weren't, weren't invited. I just, I just heard all about it. I wish you were there to ruin the show for. <laughs> I mean, no, Mark Ribelle had to do it. <laughs> it's right. If Scotty would have been there, I would have just spent more time in the hotel room banging my head against the wall. <laughs> 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 they really would have been prop balls. You hear me? <laughs> Jeremy is replaying that fall in his head right now. That legitimately, that was the most instantly violent thing. It it was the speed of a mouse trap. Just <laughs> he fell so fast and so hard that I was. There's no way that was real. He's fucking with me. Oh, shit. I wasn't even drunk. That's the no. shitty thing. Oh, that's yeah, great. it would have happened. I mean, you were drunk, but it Not, would have happened either way. It was a, a weird design on that chair. I wasn't that, that. I wasn't. Yeah, just that chair ran away from your ass. <laughs> oh, it did. One hundred percent. It knows what comes out of there. Apparently. Oh that's, man, that's good stuff. All right, moving on to the next one. Real shit or horse shit? If my hairline starts receding too much, I will just shave my head. Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> Clearly, I will not. <laughs> I was. Uh, I did that one specifically for you. I think that's the most unrecognizable part of that senior picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hair. The hair. Oh yeah. yeah. The fact that I used to have it. Yeah. Have you seen the old pictures of Dan the man with hair? Uh huh. Man, <laughs> what a strapping young lad he was. He, he sure was. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he got beat up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of those guys. He actually looks much better bald. Bald, yeah. I think. What about? Uh, what about you? I can't you? imagine talking to him. If, if I if he showed up one day with hair, I would be. Like, What's with the fucking costume, dude? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, check me out. You want uh, some sweet potato? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having a sweet potato for dinner. Yeah. Sm- Everybody's doing it. I smoked it. Yeah. <laughs> he smokes. Everything. I got it off the day old rack. <laughs> It's a manager special. So uh, smoke sweet potatoes for like the next, I don't know, like five five. <laughs> that's pretty that's actually a really that's good Dan the Man. That, that is yeah. a great Dan the Man right there. Whew, that's great. Um, yeah, I'm shaving my fucking head. There's there's no question. I've shaved my head before, but if I'm going bald, fuck yeah, it's gone. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Oh, yeah, for sure, 100%. I've, my stepdad is fucking bald as shit. And he just has the sides, and man, a horseshoe. Yes, oh, and God. but here's here's the worst part about it, 
is I was like, Dad, he hasn't cut his hair in like fucking five years. Wow. And I was like, you need, like, because it's long and it's just yeah. dirty looking. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Dad, nope, I got to, everybody telling me to cut my hair, so I ain't fucking cutting my hair no more. So he's got the bullet going. The oh, bullet, my the God. Bullet bullet. Yes. Oh, it's so bad. That's awesome, though. The bullet's the best. Oh, I'm like, what are you doing? Making a fashion the, statement, man. The thing is, is while it, it has happened to me relatively quickly, it's still very gradual. And so I don't know when that point is for me because it just, it's like, eh, it's got to get a little more. <laughs> and, and I just keep pushing that back. Horseshoe. And here's, here's the thing too, is I have several times in my life gotten, like as a little kid, gotten a buzz cut or whatever to where my hair was real short. Yeah. And I know what my scalp looks like under there. <laughs> and at least for a few days... Boy, that ain't gonna be right. Uh, that, that just ain't. I'm I'm gonna look like some kind of a friggin' Frankenstein monster. Or some just shit. wear a hat, Jeremy. That's all you gotta do. See, you're doing it right now. You look great. You know what? I'm gonna shave my head now just because I cannot take your fucking life advice. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm not gonna do that. That's a new segment. Life advice. With life Scotty. advice with me. Yeah. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I have spanked my monkey more than four times in one day. That's horse shit. I'm, I know Jeremy's answer. He went to the doctor for it. But my, That was just the one overly vigorous time. <laughs> but that is total horse shit for me. I don't think I would have anything left. Oh, no, you won't. I'm, I'm, I've done it before. This is real shit. I've definitely done that before. I was just home alone and bored. And so, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. Just getting uh, fucking ink toner replaced. And you're like, <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> fucking pulled all the things off the side. That's exactly <laughs> right. I was printing shit out for yeah. at least two hours. So I had some material. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this is real shit. How about you, Jeremy? I, I think it would have been a more appropriate thing to say that I have done it less than four times in one day. Because <laughs> I'm not so sure that I could honestly say that no I, I, of course i have yeah everybody on has. a number of occasions Except for Derek. Derek's no, lying. two to three is a record for me yeah well, he's four. got no stamina i fucked i think more than four times in one day yeah but your asshole can take it <laughs> oh no yeah not i that. mean you just i mean really all you're doing just kind of bending over i mean mm-hmm. it's pretty easy for you yeah all right uh next one real shit or horse shit cold weather is better than hot weather real shit Yep. yep. Fuck that. I'm fat. I hate hot weather. Oh, man. You can't take enough clothes off. Like, eventually you run out. You can always put shitloads of clothes on. I don't get sunburn in the cold. That's not true. I don't. Oh, dude. If you go snowboarding without the fucking mask over your face, the yeah. reflection of the sun hitting the snow, even if it's not sunny outside, that's how I, I got, like, second-degree burns mm-hmm. across oh, my yeah. face. It's, thank God I'm not some douchebag that snowboards. And you get wind burn. Yep, yeah. wind burn. Yeah, compound. thank God we're adults. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but no, I, I 100% love the cold weather better than, than hot weather. Hot weather sucks. I told my wife when, when it was like a couple of weeks ago, and she's like, God, it's cold out there. I was like, it's not cold yet. Mm-mm. I was like, it's officially cold when you walk in a building from outside and just go, son of a bitch. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's when it's cold. Yes. That is when you've hit cold status. Yeah. And the thing in Kansas is like zero, zero is cold. But it's fucking colder because of the wind chill. It's fucking negative 15. So fuck that. But I love that more than the fucking heat. Jeremy? Yeah, I I hate hot weather. <laughs> I really, I mean, it. it's a special kind of hot around here, too. Like, I've, I've been in 100 plus degree heat in Las Vegas and in California. But when I came back here and it was 85, but humid it was way more uncomfortable oh, yeah. than that shit and it just saturates you and any time that i have any kind of a project outside or anything a few years ago i got i had to trim a whole bunch of trees and limbs and shit in my backyard it, things had just gotten so overgrown and it took me like two weeks and i was working on it every day after work and after like a half hour, I was just trudging mm-hmm. everywhere. I, I was trying to find reasons to not have to move around. Oh, yeah. And that doesn't get shit done, <laughs> turns out. <laughs> yeah. Now you do know, though, in the cold weather, Jeremy, pipes freeze and burst. That's true. And yeah. that's what causes flooding in basements. Well, not when you got pecs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, those are tits, Jeremy. Yeah, those, those are man boobs. 
Yeah, P E X. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I still don't know what that is. All right, last you don't, Scotty. I know. Last one: real shit or horse shit? If Scotty wins the fantasy football league this year, I will buy him a three-peat custom championship belt. Moving on. <laughs> This is some real shit, because if I win, I'm buying one. <laughs> That's great, because I'm not doing the league anymore if you win. <laughs> oh, no. It's over. Don't say that. 100% over. No, have that a- that will just really go to show that there is no justice in the world. <laughs> mm-hmm. You fuck up our whole draft. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With your T.Y. Hilton <laughs> taking a piss bullshit. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Non-handle. Well, that's probably why I've been sick for three weeks. <laughs> probably, yeah. It's, it's, it's finally weird. catching up and getting I it. touched something in the basement that Scotty touched. That's right. Mm-hmm. I am eight months so ago. So sorry, but I'm glad I'm doing all right. Uh, I don't think you guys have to worry about it. I think uh, I think Mark's pretty much going to win this whole thing, so don't worry about it. Well, you've got Derek's wife next week, don't you? I do. I do, but I think I think Mark's going to win it all. So probably, but I just hope Katie beats your ass. Well, uh, you prob- probably will. So anyways, uh, but no, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. No bad advice with Jeremy this week. Uh, so we are going to move right along. Uh, first one, overrated or underrated snow. Overrated. Snur. That's whenever I found out that I was getting old. Cause when I was a kid, I was all pumped up for snow and like sh- pissed off when it rained outside. And now I'm like, oh, we really needed the rain. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, fuck, snow. I don't want to drive in that shit. Oh, buddy. So, yeah, overrated. Underrated. I love driving in the fucking snow. Love it. Absolutely love it. Get me in a fucking parking lot where I can do donuts. Absolutely underrated. I love the snow. Jeremy? Snow can suck my dick. <laughs> it, it really can. And and this, uh, I mean, not very well. That is a snowblower, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, it's again, we have a different kind of snow here. Mm-hmm. It is not dry snow. It is wet snow that is more slush. Yeah. And then it gets packed on the road by the cars and turns to ice. Yes. And ice is bullshit. Yes. Ice can double suck my dick. <laughs> yeah. And that's no shit. They're not even out treating the roads right now. We know we're going to get like eight to nine inches coming up here too soon or like in the next couple of days. And they're not doing shit. So well, it's going to be twice as bad. Here's the problem with that is like uh, last last Tuesday, I believe it was, we were supposed to get a bunch of snow and it went around us. And if they go out and treat the roads and spend all the money doing that and that happens again, people are going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, there's there's just no winning. Uh, the weather here is too unpredictable. That's true. When is that snow supposed to come? I believe Thursday and Friday. Mm-hmm. So get ready, baby. Uh, next one. Shit. Overrated or underrated? Skin colored leggings. What? Yeah. Overrated. Oh God. They're the worst. They are awful. Yes. They are awful. Those poor bitches at Hooters. Uh, stuff. Uh, it's just, uh, those are just pantyhose. No, right? I don't like just, those either. Those are pantyhose. No, I, I'm starting to see more and more videos of girls on TikTok that are actually purposely buying these these leggings that are the same color as their skin so they look like they're naked. And I don't want them to look like they're naked. That's a bitch with varicose veins. <laughs> That's what that is. Yeah. Uh, You're lying. It's like makeup for your legs. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the leg version of a push-up bra is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Stop doing this. Stop making this a thing, even. It's just bad. They're not pants, either. Leggings are not pants. They're not. They, some people can wear the leggings. That's fine. <laughs> Jacoby Myers! <laughs> Yes! Haven't had one of those in a while. Hadn't hadn't had a reason to. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, next one. Overrated or underrated? Watching people slip on the ice. Oh, fucking way underrated. Fuck yeah. That's the best. Usually now, whenever you get to my age, you break something when you do that. That's a way to break a wrist. Mm -hmm. Yep. I remember whenever I was in high school and I got off, we used to have to take the city bus to high school. We didn't, that, that's what we had to take. Mm-hmm. And I got off the city bus uh, right in front of the school and busted my fucking ass. <laughs> and I sold it so well. Like I walked right into the school, straight to my locker, and I'm in class. And somebody was like, a few people were like, I saw you eat shit this morning. And I was like, what are you talking about? They're like, you fell on the ice. I'm like, no, dude, that was you. I was late today. Like I, I, I wouldn't even 
No, that was not me. Are you sure? Yeah, dude, I would fucking know if I fell on the ice. <laughs> I'd yeah, be hurting. Yeah, you're you. right. You're right. <laughs> God, dude, he looked just like you. Like, played it straight off. Way to go. Yeah. Way to get out of it. Um, it is way underrated. This is one of the coolest things in the world. I love watching kids like slip on the ice, but I think my favorite thing in the entire world, no bullshit, is whenever you've got somebody that's walking down their driveway and it's covered with ice and they can't stop, so they just keep on fucking sliding down and then eat shit right at the very end. That's like you're de- you're just delaying the inevitable, inevitable, and you are going to eat shit. That is my favorite fucking thing, Jeremy. I could just watch people fall down. I don't. I don't need the ice. Uh, Fuck Hillary. He's happy with a hotel room and a chair. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're still talking about that six months later. Yeah. I, I don't need the ice. Perfect. Uh, anything else there, Jay? But but yeah. I mean, I will say that when I'm the one doing it, ice pisses me off. <laughs> it legitimately pisses me off because sometimes I have to be the one that goes out onto my driveway mm-hmm. and be this asshole. And it's such a helpless feeling because yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah. As soon as I get down to the bottom, I'm going for a ride. <laughs> and so it's, it's kind of like, it, it's kind of like, you know, in the matrix, how he can move out of the way of the bullets. It's like being able to see the bullets at that speed, but you can't move. <laughs> That's what that is. Oh, it's the best thing ever. Uh, right. I would just as soon just watch people fall in regular conditions. Okay. But right. if ice is involved, great. Okay. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, sumo wrestling. Anything that makes me an athlete is underrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So I got to go with underrated on that. Really? That's, yeah, fuck, man. Give us a chance. Okay, I'll give you a chance. Man. Um. I, and, and and those women over there find those guys sexy as mm-hmm. fuck. Really? Oh, yeah. My, you get so much puss if you're a sumo wrestler. Really? My yeah. wife went That's why she sh- married That's Jeremy. That's why she married Jeremy. Yeah. My, you saw that fucking picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> My wife went to school with the wife of... Uh, she married a guy named Chad Rowan, who is the only American... Uh, Yokozuna, grand champion. Really? Yeah. Uh, he's, we call him American. He's, I believe, Samoan or Hawaiian. But I guess it's like if a rock star walked into any place still to, well, actually, he's in really bad health now. But I guess for so long, they just lived this life of luxury that anywhere you could go. And she had to like legit worry about him cheating everywhere he went because pussy would just throw itself at him and <laughs> she's a little tiny girl he's 500 some pounds and she's a little tiny girl and used to be fairly attractive too wow. i mean she's still for a 50 year old woman not bad yeah but um yeah that was and and it had been a decade since he had won and they were still wow just oozing all over it'd be like if mike tyson walked in the room oh here. wow yeah well I'm gonna still say it's uh, it's underrated just because uh, I want to get the like the costume things that like are like pillows and shit like that. I want to fucking do just that. Just put on a diaper, Scotty. Okay, and put on a diaper. Absolutely. There is actually people don't realize this. There are like lightweight divisions of sumo wrestling. Really, it, it sucks. I'm it's sure. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but along with being incredibly fat, those guys are so strong. Oh, I believe. And it. for as big as they are, they're very mobile. And it takes so much leg and upper body strength oh, I'm sure. to do it. One of the, the DDP yoga instructors is a former sumo wrestler, and he incorporates some of that into his instructions. And it's fucking hard. <laughs> it's fucking hard. So how about you, Jeremy? Oh, it's, it's overrated. It's, stupid. it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. It's watching fat guys hug. Yeah. That's all it is. All right. Uh, last one. Overrated or underrated? Making a sex video with your spouse. Have we done this? I don't think so. If we have, it's been too long, and I can't remember. Derek? Huh? No, I mean, haven't we made a sex video? With <laughs> oh, <guy>? yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, overrated. <clears throat> yeah, uh, anything that can get out on the internet, no thanks. Mm. But if anybody does do it, wear a GoPro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> um, Just do a TikTok trend, but fuck. <laughs> That's what <laughs> yes, you should it'd be, do. It'd yeah. be about this, that amount of time. Um, yeah, I'm going to go overrated too. I I just don't want to do this. I don't want to see me fucking. I think it just look weird. So I'm going to go overrated. Neither does your wife. (laughs) She does apparently like to see me fucking. 
Yeah, Thank other you very people. Much. Sure. Shut up. Jeremy? Like, let you, you take that tiny ass dick of his. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't I don't need to see. I've seen me naked plenty of times. Yeah. Way more than anybody should ever have to. And I can tell you that the last thing we need is a movie of that. <laughs> uh, I can tell you this, though. If anybody, I think I've said it on this show. In fact, I made the declaration of this. If this is something you want to do, more power to you. Change the batteries in your fucking smoke detector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it's been a minute, but yeah, that's yeah, uh, that's yeah, always yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Always yeah. there. Um, but yeah. So anyways, that is overrated or underrated. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send us to or send them to at laughing on the sidelines on our Instagram. Jeremy's pretty good about going through it and uh, I Am try. I? Yeah, you're pretty good. I used to be. Yeah, you're getting, you know, kind of I'm getting old. Getting old kind of on your way out, so it is what it is. Yeah. All right, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, again, suggestions, send them to us. Uh, first question, the good news is blank. The bad news is blank. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. The good news is you're going to get laid. The bad news is off. <laughs> <laughs> What? That, that's I, so terrible. I thought I it was, wish I had your ear infection. I, to be honest, just I thought to it was me clever to hear that. Fuck mm-hmm. you. How about you, Derek? Uh, the good news is uh, we have discovered the secret to immortality, and you'll never die. Mm-hmm. The bad news is you've lost your appeal, and you are still sentenced to life in prison. <laughs> oh, they, that would suck. How about you, there, Jeremy? Well, the good news is you're getting thirty percent off. Bad news, no bucket for you. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Oh. Don't you dare even <laughs> ask. <laughs> that's oh, awesome. That's fucking great. All right. Next question. Name a movie that changes its plot when you change one letter in the title. Boy Story. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. That goes from a toy to a gay porno. So, yeah. Okay. How about you, Derek? Oh, I got a couple. Okay. Uh, hot tub mime machine. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's basically whatever you hot and get in that hot tub, you just all of a sudden become a mime. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Avatar. <laughs> that's a uh, movie about, <laughs> about a bunch of blue guys in hockey helmets. <laughs> Uh, no sticks or eyes. But, uh, <laughs> oh, it's fu- it's so bad. A lot of chocolate milk. Oh, shit. It's fucking... T- <laughs> <laughs> Want to plug your tail into mine? <laughs> <laughs> they keep trying- listen to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> they keep trying to bond with fire trucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's like all the creatures in that could have been drawn by mentally handicapped people. <laughs> all the horses have six legs. Yeah. My car has fur. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you ever seen the fucking videos of the retarded policeman? Uh-uh. Oh, my God. It's it's an actual guy. I think he's got Down syndrome, and he's in a police uniform, and he'll pull you over, and he's in a cop uniform, and he walks up to the car. It's a skit, you know, and he's like, no, I'll pull you over. I do this picture for you. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's some ridiculous crayon drawn. It's nice. so funny. Oh, that's great. You know, people like that have some of the best fucking senses of humor oh, on 100%. the fucking planet. One hundred percent, they do. How about you, Jeremy? We can only change one letter here. Ah, why not? Just whatever yeah. you want to do. Because I would just change Porky's to Pork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Porks. Just yeah, okay, Porks. Yeah, Porks. And it's it's about. You know, the pork industry. <laughs> <laughs> How to avoid trichinosis, all that. <laughs> okay. I really didn't put any thought into this one. That's okay. I got I got it here late. Okay. Uh, next one. Who would you want to narrate your life story? Go ahead. Oh, I got a bunch. Oh, I got one. Go okay. Ahead. Uh, first one is Polly Shore. I've always said that. I said that. Yeah, the you, that would totally be perfect uh, for you. Actually. Absolutely. Uh, but no, I think in reality, probably the best one out of all of them would be fucking Sam Kinison. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Just him screaming at me. That would be great. Yeah. How about you? 
Porky Pig. Oh, really? I think that would fucking frustrate <laughs> the shit out of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was born, 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 I kind of takes my guess. I, I was going to go Mel Tillis. <laughs> he, he had a bad stutter. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go Marcel Marceau. Okay. Kermit the Frog, maybe? He, he is the closest thing to a famous mime that <laughs> has ever existed. So just to see him in silence. Uh, Christopher Walken was another one of mine. Yeah. Oh, man, that's that'd be great. Uh, but I honestly think let's. Uh, I'm going to go with Denzel Washington when it's all said and done. I think that would be all right. Have you seen that guy that does the impression of him? Oh, God. On TikTok? He's oh, fucking spot on. God. Doesn't look anything like him, but no. he is spot on. Spot on. Korean fellow, right? Yeah. No, he's he's a he's a uh, African-American. Yeah. Um, funny I, I mean, maybe there's a Korean who doesn't. Would have been funnier if he was Korean. Eh. It sure would have been. Yeah. He has, uh, he has their citizenship, though, but he is an uh, African-American guy. Um, yeah, he's a Korean guy from the Congo. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He's from Chad. <laughs> yeah, he was actually a child soldier over there and got out. He's yep. in South yeah. Africa. He did three tours in Zaire. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right. Next question. What's the tenth rule of Fight Club? You cannot shit your pants to get out of it. Okay. No shit and slacks for you. Can too. No, you can't. Uh, if you can't fight, then your emergency contact has to step in for you. <laughs> oh, your wife's fucked. <laughs> She's not my emergency contact. It's, oh. it's Jeremy. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. How about you, Jeremy? <laughs> Thought you were going to get a call at the doctor's office the other day, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would actually like to get that call, but not know it's coming. <laughs> We're here with Derek. Uh, he's really not doing good. Oh. Who's this? Shit. <laughs> Tell him I said get better, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's, that's awful news. <laughs> Ask him if he's going to be at the podcast on Monday. <laughs> Are we doing Tuesday this yeah, week? Yeah. yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, okay, the 10th rule, I think, is that you have to present your receipt at the door <laughs> in order to leave. Uh, or I think that the 10th rule probably should be that there are no rules. Okay. Fair. After going through all that other shit. <laughs> Turns out there are no rules. Talk about it all you want. Uh, there you go. <laughs> all right. And last question. What's a made up fact about chickens? Chickens are actually baby dinosaurs. They are little dinosaurs. It's I don't old, believe that's made up. It's the yeah. oldest. It's the oldest still living animal on Earth. Is the chicken, the miniature dinosaur? How old is it? A lot. It's very old. It, it's so. Old. You're aware that these are supposed to be made up facts, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm making this up off the top of my head, Jeremy. You're, but not far off. Really? I mean, the domestic chicken. Yes, it, it hasn't been around near so long, but. Yeah, birds are basically what dinosaurs morphed into. Oh, okay. They turned into birds and flew away? Some of them already had wings. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, they have the biggest penis of any animal. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, if you actually look at chicken footprints and, tr and track them, it is a, a talon, a talon, and then there's this big, long, dragging. Oh, that makes sense. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 The cock's got a huge cock. That's mm -hmm. why it's cock fighting. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> okay. Also, they're good with a switchblade. Oh, even better. Mm -hmm. That's why. They sure are. Yeah. Those kids didn't know what they were getting into. <laughs> they had no idea. <laughs> at the lake. Yeah, you just got a rusty, dull steak knife. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a stab. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, and last, Jeremy, how about you? Well, there is no rule that says chicken can't play baseball. That's right. Uh, however, they, they are lousy batters. <laughs> Much like myself, uh, great on defense. Um, no, I'm going to go with that. Uh, fuck. Um, no fewer than six chickens have gotten a perfect score on their SATs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's fun. They well, taste like horse. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They actually, they, all, they even taste like baby seal, if you didn't know that. Of course. The singer? Huh? The singer? You've. You knew him as a baby. Oh yeah, well, you know he's attracted to that. It was yeah, it was yeah, it was pre burn. Yeah, pre burn is how long I've known him. Mm. So, anyways, that, you must have been the Rosie was talking about. I was. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, that is our questions and preguntas again, guys. If you have any suggestions for these comments or for these uh, segments, you can send them to us at Laughing Sidelines on Instagram. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, we had our last week's draft was uh, shitty things to do to people in customer service, and uh, Derek ended up running away with that draft. Fuck people. Ah, God, mean people. Uh, so Derek this week gets the championship picks. Uh, I'll have you know that everybody who voted on this was a person. Yes. Okay. So uh, did when we... you say fuck people, I mean that's your constituents here. Did well. You don't Did we have the thing that so they knew how many tiles had buses in them? Yeah. Because it could have been robots. True. Good Good point. Good yeah. Enough. That's a damn good point. Yeah, because yeah. robots can't figure out what's a, where a stoplight's at. Right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and retract my previous statement. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we got bots. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, why don't we have a CAPTCHA? I don't know. I have no idea, Jeremy. Why are you asking me all these fucking questions? Well, you set up all of our social media and our tech guy and uh, shit. I know. Ever I know. since Mitch left. I, I know. I had to let him go. Um, so this week, anyways, uh, Derek won, so he gets the championship picks at the end. Uh, Jeremy took second. He gets the sandwich picks. And I suck. So I uh, I get first pick. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty normal. If I win, are you going to buy me a belt that says three-peat champion? No, I'm not. Never going to buy you a belt. You have to win the one I bought. I don't want it. Uh huh. All That's right. That's why I fucking didn't make the playoffs. I don't want that stupid belt. <laughs> uh, this I mean, if you want to see Scotty get beaten with a belt. <laughs> You know, maybe you should root for him. Yeah. That's what's going to happen if you buy another. <laughs> <laughs> I will come back. Uh huh. This uh, week's draft is a fun one considering it is the Christmas holiday uh, coming up. Uh, we are going to do the best things other than milk and cookies to leave for Santa Claus. So uh, I get the very first pick here and I am going to take booze. All right. Yeah, I think if you leave him alcohol, he going to get drunk. There's going to be some... That going to end up in power lines. It sure shit is. Rudolph ain't got nothing on uh, drunk driving Santa. Uh, Jeremy, you get the next pick. Lotion and a hustler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like that one. All right. I mean, Derek, it's a long flight. It is a long he flight. He needs to relax. He does. How about you, Derek? You know, it's going to be a, a long night for that guy, and he's going to need to stay awake. So cocaine. Cocaine, mm-hmm. absolutely. That's good. Yep. Yeah. And sometimes those reindeer get out of line. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go with a pistol. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Santa, Santa also doesn't go in good neighborhoods yeah. all the time either. you got to protect yourself at all times. That's well, let's right. face it. Reindeer are not endangered. They're easily replaced. They yeah. are. Yes, they yeah, I mean, are. sometimes you got to make an example out of a goddamn reindeer. Right. They don't want to listen. Uh-huh. Some of them still won't accept Rudolph. Yep. With mm-hmm. that red fucking nose. That's Absolutely. true. Like Dasher. Yeah. Fucking prick. That, that's, that's still. I know I've talked about it on here. But that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Christmas special <laughs> with Dasher being their coach. <laughs> and he was fine with Rudolph until he saw he had that red fucking nose. <laughs> and then it was, come on, gang, we're not going to let Rudolph play in any of our reindeer games. <laughs> and here's what gets me about it is I believe Rudolph's dad is Donner. <laughs> They work together. <laughs> That's going to be uncomfortable tomorrow at work, isn't it? That's nepotism. Is hey, you remember, you remember Dasher when you treated my son like shit? Because <laughs> of a minor deformity? <laughs> and if there was any justice in the world, what would have happened on that foggy night is Rudolph would have went, fuck all of you. <laughs> Including you, Santa, you were a prick to me too. <laughs> That's how that should have gone That's, down. It is. It is. That story's total bullshit. None of that happened. I know. None of it. But what's your uh, second pick there, Jeremy? Could you tell I was stalling? Yeah, I could. <laughs> uh, fish sticks. <laughs> fish dicks or fish sticks? Either. Okay. I'll go with the the sticks. They're they're sticks, but they're penis shaped. <laughs> okay, they're novelty fish sticks. Uh, fair. Okay. 
Well, uh, I have never done these, but Derek does it every year, and I know how fucked up he got, so I'm going to go with shrooms. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, last but not least, well, I guess my my, my next pick, I'm going to go with Viagra. Okay. Yep, he'll be yeah. appreciative, and so will yeah, Mrs. He's Claus. Gonna, he's going to love delivering presents with a boner around <laughs> a bunch of kids. That's a great idea. It is. It's excellent. You're just trying to turn everybody into you, aren't you, Scotty? Sure am. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, you get your next pick. This will be a little bit of a callback. Okay. Carton of Cools. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. All right. Uh, well, Derek, you get two. Uh, reindeer jerky. Ra- mm-hmm. Deer jerky. Nice. Reindeer jerky. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll specifically reindeer. Uh, yeah. Okay. Eat that in front of Rudolph, you piece of shit. Because I believe they're more closely related to the caribou. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, By the way, not near as big as what you'd think. Caribou? A reindeer. A reindeer is not. Oh, God. I think they're big. Well, I've seen a few uh, in person, real live ones, and no, they're not. They're not much bigger than like a large dog. They're, <laughs> okay. They're always depicted as being huge. They're just not that big. Okay. I did no not way they could pull that fat fuck. Yep. All right, Derek. How about you? Magnums. Magnum? Mm-hmm. Magnum? Magnum. Magnum. Magnum condoms. Magnum condoms. Yeah. condoms. Yeah. Yeah. You know he's hung. Never can be too safe. <laughs> That's right. Slinging that sack. That's it's like, absolutely. It's like jumping in a fucking raincoat. All right. Uh, Jeremy, you get one. Um, just to get rid of them, mm-hmm. all the pennies that I accumulated <laughs> for the last year. Nice. <laughs> Everything in the junk drawer. Yeah. yeah. Flashlights that don't work. Four audiovisual cables. <laughs> yep. Or RCA cables, yeah. Some half-used triple A's. <laughs> the ones that you have to press on the side uh-huh. and the front to see how much battery yes. left. Oh, God. All right. You always had to press so hard on those fucking things. You did. Too. You're like, all right, looks like it's <laughs> you about act- three quarters full. You actually had to push hard enough on them there. They shocked you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I um, guess. Are we m- done with this nightmare yet? Almost, almost. Uh, I get two picks. I'm going to go with uh, my first pick is going to be a laxative. Uh, and then even you don't think he gets backed Santa. up? No, I think uh, I think that's something you don't want whenever you're flying high delivering presents. So you want him to shit the entire time. Yes. With hey, a boner. Yes. Look, you want him to have a hard on he is going. and shit his guts out, <laughs> drunk driving. <laughs> and then that god damn. Yep. Not all kids were nice, okay? <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton played that guy <laughs> twice. And I <laughs> that is- if you can't make this any better, I am going to finish off with Ambien. Maybe he will cook some turnovers and fucking Man. fire him into the microwave. This dude is going to have a bad day. Or a good night. <laughs> he is going to be so fucked up. Whew. All right. Jeremy, your last pick. Circus peanuts. <laughs> Great. That Spanglers? is... Spanglers? I'm not wasting Spangler money <laughs> on Santa. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Because those are top notch. They Scotty, are. That's, that's top shelf. You hated them, Damn too. this low-carb <laughs> diet that I can't <laughs> eat more Spanglers. Damn it to hell. I'm going to have to find some sugar-free Spanglers for yeah, you. Yeah, you are. I checked. They, don't, <laughs> they <laughs> don't make them, so you don't even need to look. They <laughs> just... Yeah, I mean, that's you a can't fool's even, errand. You can hardly taste the difference. Oh, yeah, that's important. I'm sure I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would bet money that I can't. But if they made them, which they don't. Yeah. <laughs> what, what if that was one, an Atkins product? <laughs> Spanglers? <laughs> well, just circus, circus peanuts. peanuts. Sugar-free circus they, peanuts. They got the, the ch- double chocolate shakes and the... The Atkins brownies, the low carb brownies, and, oh. and all, all this delectable shit, and then circus peanuts. Gotta love and it, it still came in a big bag. Yep. <laughs> it sure did. Only difference now they're $9. Right. Oh, Eat. boy. You Google it, first thing that pops up is Spangler at Amazon.com. Sugar free? Yeah. Now, oh my goodness. Add to cart. Departing gift for <laughs> Jeremy. How long <laughs> has she been okay, calling you what, a Punta? It. There's got to be a betting pool 
at Amazon amongst the employees of how long till these sell? <laughs> <laughs> how long can these sit on the shelves and not move? Right. Oh, that's And great. then you buy them and it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Who had, who had 18 years? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I would actually, I would have liked to have seen the turn where Amazon, back when they just used to be a bookstore, mm -hmm. and that was the next item that they added. They had books and circus pieces. <laughs> That's what I was getting ready to say. Yeah, they, they had them back when they were selling books. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Derek, I don't know you which get... I'd rather have less: a circus peanut or a book. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you get the last pick, Derek. What do you got? You never want to just get in a nice big bubble bath with a book and some circus. <laughs> <laughs> they float. That's a, that's a way to ruin a book, by the way. <laughs> circus peanuts are very buoyant. Have you ever mixed a water and a book? They don't go well together, especially bubble bath. There's no way to do that and not get bubbles everywhere. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Derek, what's your last pick? Very hot commodity, I think, this year is, and, and I'm going to go with it, a uh, five-gallon bucket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, very well done. Oh, that's great. Hey, he may need to pee, you know? Yeah, he that's, might. Well, after all of this laxative yeah. I'm giving him, he's going to have to shit. Yeah, and he's going to have to have something to leave under your tree. <laughs> that's true. So, Just before I, he leaves. I have told you <coughs> the annoying, the new pet peeve I have with Santa, haven't I? Uh -uh. Have I brought it up on this show? No, I don't think so. Okay. He goes from house to house to house, right? Mm -hmm. He's at this house. There's another house right there. Why does he got to take all the way up when he takes <laughs> off, up to where he gets silhouetted by the fucking moon and gee, just go next door, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Work it like a grid system. That's, what's, no what? wonder it takes you all fucking night. What's he do at an apartment? <laughs> Does he just keep going up and, and landing back on I the I like to road? think he has to take off and come back for <laughs> each apartment. I actually like to think that he doesn't give poor kids presents. Yeah, he probably so, doesn't. Well, ask the well, poor, ask the poor no, kids. There's no doubt they've been bad. I mean, that karma's a bitch. There's a reason they are the way they are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you got any honorable mentions by any chance? I think all of these are great. All of these picks are are class A picks. Oh, I could I could leave them all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> a back scratcher. I, I, could, I could spare a hammer. Uh, <laughs> you know, in case he needs to deal with unruly reindeer. That's right. A bull whip. A that, bull, yeah. Absolutely. He does crack a whip though. He does. He? Yeah. He does. Yeah. 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 Fucking inhumane. But get him another one. It Why sure not? Is. He can double do it. You know. Oh, go, yeah. You got to go old school. You got to go with the carrot on a stick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Little uh, slugger. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Bear mace. Right. A set of keys so you don't have to do this <laughs> shit next year. Where are my keys? Come in yeah. through the fucking door. Yeah. yeah no, that way we can, have, we can not have to heckle them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Santa, where are your keys at? <laughs> that's... that's that's, That's what best. I want to do now is, like, take my knees just, to go see Santa and just be like, <laughs> when, when you go see him, just just ask him where his keys are at. <laughs> and then don't say anything else until he answers you. <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? I want to know where your keys are. That's what I want yeah. for Christmas. <laughs> where are your keys at, Santa? That's right. Oh, you shit. fat fuck. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Uh, but you can Speaking of that, you know, it actually would be great to get him. Is a uh, promo code for DDP Yoga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji. Vote for the list that has the best things to leave Santa other than milk and cookies. Uh, but before we get on to the shitty situation, we actually do have a what's in the box. And this one comes from Josh Horace. Uh, I, Horace? I, I, no, it's I believe it's Horace. I believe Horace? It's oh, that's going to be the name of my first kid. Josh, Horace. I love you, bro. If I'm spe I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, <laughs> but uh, he actually got a gift for... Uh, How Mr. do you mispronounce Josh? Not... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Actually, his last name is Jones. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that what it is? <laughs> Jones. Uh, he's from uh, Houston, Texas. He sent uh, Jeremy a nice little box, and it's sitting right over there. Sure is. You want to get it? <laughs> I hope it's fucking... Jesus Christ. Am I getting paid extra for all yeah. that? Yeah, buddy. Do you it's need a actually the world's smallest five-gallon bucket. Yeah. 
It could be. It still holds five gallons. <laughs> Nobody knows how it happened. You got a knife or you need one? I got a knife. What the f- who the fuck do you think you're talking to? <laughs> you you don't should throw know. it to him. Yeah, I, he's got his switchblade out. Let's see. You know, I'm chickens not sure. Are very, chickens are very handy with those. They are, yes. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I just got, got the knife, knife out for no reason. How did this stay intact? Tell me this is another knife. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is that a okay. flashlight? It's oh, going it's up my ass, whatever it, it is. It's got a note. It's covered. It does have a note. Oh, to boy. Jeremy and Derek. I need my reading glasses. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, it's to both of you guys. Well, not on the outside. Oh, the okay. note is to both of us. Okay. Um, all right. For the past two years, Laughing on the Sidelines has been one of the funniest podcasts I've ever listened to. You need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> My first interaction with the show came when I photoshopped Steve Austin. Oh, the Cold Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cold, Cold Stone, Stone Steve Austin. Austin. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. 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 Uh, if you see. like it, give it. You know what? They need Cold Stone Steve Austin. That goddamn <laughs> Cold, Cold Stone. Stone. They, they do. Yeah. He'll whip that bitch right into shape. <laughs> sure That's does. right. You know what time we close? 316, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the bottom line. If you want gummy bears, give me a oh hell yeah. <laughs> Do you like it? What? <laughs> Do you love it? What? You got it. And, you gotta have and it. He, shows, he shows up with the ET mask. <laughs> I like to think that he gets two milkshakes, slams them together. And just... So this is from Josh, this is from uh, Josh. aka Let Us Eat Cake. Yep. That's his handle. Wait a minute. Yep. And then empty paper. Oh, okay, seriously, empty there you paper. Go. Yeah. So, wait. What did it say? It said it, 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 the cold stone. What yeah, else? yeah, yeah. You didn't read the oh, rest of it. Yeah. Uh, always appreciate amazing episodes every week, Josh. There you go. Uh, that is to me and Derek only. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're Josh, welcome. That is greatly appreciated. Yes. Yep. Now let's see what's under. What here. do we got here? What's in the box? In the sleeves. Yeah. What you got? Oh, look oh, at that. that. Cool. What's it say? Is it? There we go. The 1984 yeah, Kansas City Chiefs awesome. Defensive Player of the Year. That, that is, is fucking awesome. awesome. That is so great. That, that is the coolest it, one. Oh, for sure. That yeah. Is, dude, oh, that's this is a quality that's metal. deal too. That yeah, metal. that is yeah, legit. That's, yeah, that is fucking. You can't touch it, Scotty. It's oh my god. Come and on. Yeah. Here, see, you see, Jeremy. Yes, I see. This is cool as shit, Fuck Josh. Yeah, that's is. fucking awesome, bro. I fucking love it. That is fucking great. It's oh, about time. That is so I, I, awesome. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I was given one of these in 84, and it did go up my ass. Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm sitting that way in that picture. Of my senior photo. It, makes sense. Yes, yeah. it still hadn't come out at that yeah, point. It, so oh, it far man. enough up, your follicles started to fall out. Yes. <laughs> that is fucking cool. That is really fucking cool. Josh, thank you very much. This is fucking great. That's, uh, that's, that's going right. <laughs> <laughs> right there by the bobblehead horse. Fucking perfect. It is perfect. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Josh. We sincerely do appreciate that. Let us eat cake. That is awesome. Huh. Next time, work a little more on the wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was literally no tape was, on there. It was holding itself together I, barely. I, next, he's going to take that the wrong way, and next week you're getting a mixtape. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Dude, you think I don't have a cassette player? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, too, Josh. Yes. I sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, but now we get to move on to uh, awesome. my favorite yes. part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines. Yes, uh, okay. <laughs> All right. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I think I had alluded a couple of weeks ago to uh, there's a conspiracy theory that I've been working on uh-huh. um, that is predicated around a real event that did happen, which, which was an actual tragedy. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll just kind of go into the backstory starting with that it, it's also hinges around an existing uh conspiracy theory but basically from 1953 to to 1973 the cia conducted a top secret operation that has since been declassified called mk ultra and what it was was basically mortal Kombat. uh that's right <laughs> it, it was the the fourth in the series which is strange because it was made way before all the others Fatality. Uh, but uh 
what it was was the CIA's attempt to maybe get a grip on mind control. Uh, they used things like hypnosis and electroshock therapy and all kinds of different psychological tortures. And it was a very cruel uh, way of doing things, but their whole thing was to psychologic try to psychologically break someone. So one, they would be easier to interrogate. Mm -hmm. uh, two, possibly then kind of mentally reprogram them and their hope maybe was to kind of like make sleeper assassins, <laughs> you know, like people that you could activate or something. I mean, it was a long shot, but they tried it. Uh, another thing that they used to try and do this was uh, a lot of experimentation with psychedelic drugs, primarily LSD. Now, in November of 1953, they were uh, running some, some LSD tests, and one of the first uh, research scientists was a chemist named uh, Frank Olson. He was uh, working on this along with the guy who headed up the program, the, the, the head chemist, I guess, the, of the drug program, a guy named Sidney Gottlieb. And they were doing some LSD experimentations on uh, mental patients. And Gottlieb was not at all happy with the results he was getting because they were using mental patients, so their mental state was not stable to begin with. So they weren't really sure what kind of results they were going to get otherwise. And so... Uh, to get some real results, he chose to dose Frank Olson's coffee with LSD, and it did not go well. Uh, Frank had a complete psychotic break uh, and went off the grid and disappeared for like two weeks. And his body was found in New York City a couple weeks later uh, on the sidewalk in front of his 10th floor hotel room. And... Uh, the police got there, New York City police got there, started processing the scene, and immediately the feds came and took it over and declared it a suicide. And here's where conspiracy theorists really get into this. Uh, there's some problems with it. One is that there were complaints of commotion and struggle from his hotel room with at least three different voices that were coming from there. Uh, two, people have done the math as far as where his body landed. And in order for him to land from where he landed from the 10th floor window, uh, he would have had to have gone out into the hallway and like gotten a full running start <laughs> and dove out of the window head first. That's the way to do it. Yep. And I sure it is. Uh, typically not what people who commit suicide do. They're, they're not going for form. You don't, uh, you don't have acid. So the, the typical conspiracy theory is that agents found him, uh, were afraid that he couldn't keep a lid on the confidential information that he had been privy to, took him up to the roof and threw him off and then staged that as a suicide. I don't think so. I have a different conspiracy theory, <laughs> and I like to use the logic that most conspiracy theorists use. Here goes. <laughs> I don't think that he died at all. I think that they faked his suicide. And instead, they brought him back to their labs where they were able to mentally reprogram him into a sleeper assassin. And I'll tell you why. This happened at the Hotel Statler in New York. It was one of the nicer hotels in New York at the time. The Hotel Statler sits across the street from the world famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Now, in case you didn't know, Stadler and Waldorf happened to be the names of those two old fucks who sit in the balcony and heckle the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the most famous puppeteers from the Muppets is a guy named Frank Richard Osnosowitz. This was Frank Rudolph Olson, F-R-O. You think that's just a coincidence? <laughs> you tell me how that fucking Kool-Aid tastes. Uh, Frank Richard Oznosowitz is more commonly known as just Frank Oz. And he did, he voiced some of the most famous Muppets of them all. Miss Piggy, Fozzie, Bert, Cookie Monster, uh, and later, Yoda. Mind control? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. that, that didn't happen by fucking accident. <laughs> so he was planted there. They, they remade him as Frank Oz. Gave him a whole new identity. He befriends Jim Henson at the Muppets, the, the, the creator and founder of the Muppets. Get him in there. Let him be a fucking mind-controlling Yoda. And uh, in 1990, he dies, Jim Henson does, of a very mysterious bacterial lung infection um, that was first mistaken as a cold. 
works exactly like a biological weapon does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's no coincidence there. And, uh, also Jim Henson died at age 53. Frank Olson's suicide was faked in 1953. Oh my God. What? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, honestly, and, and it makes total sense if you're going to go with the Muppets, because what better place to get like a, you know, a realistic looking Frank Olson to throw down onto the sidewalk, right? Yeah, right. He, that he was a Muppet. Oh, wow. And now why did, why did they do that? Why did they want him killed? They wanted him killed before the Russians could get to him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I know that for a fact, because less than a year later, after Jim Henson's death, the Soviet Union fell. There you go. <laughs> Wow. None of that shit can be coincidence. <laughs> no. Come on. Wake the fuck up, people. <laughs> and now whether you're talking about Jim Henson's death, Frank Olson's death, you know, the tragic life of Frank Oz, who's still with us, uh, <laughs> your child can recreate the magic of all these moments using nothing but a little imagination, kind of like I did. <laughs> and Legos. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, Legos, go watch the fucking Muppet movie. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great, Jeremy. Thank you so My very pleasure. much for sharing that. It's awesome. Okay, so this week's um, shitty situation is going to be kind of fun. Um, it is going to be, would you rather, you have to have this as your ringtone at at all times, and it has to be turned up all the way. Mm -hmm. Would you rather your ringtone be the first one? Uh, Me So Horny by Two Live Crew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or would you rather it be Show Me Your Genitals by John Lejean. There you go. Also known as Taco. Women are stupid, and I don't respect them. That's right. I just have sex with them. Show me your genitals. Your, your genitals. genitals. What? Show me your genitals. Your genitalia. Show me your genitals. <laughs> your genitals. Fucking perfect. Okay. So? Was he the first YouTube sensation that, that made it mainstream? Oh, God, I have no idea. I don't know. I think he, he was before Bo Burnham, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember watching that video like 20, almost 20 years ago. I was going to say, I thought it was maybe even was on like E-Bomb's World. It was like at least sick because I was, yeah. yeah, it was like 08 yeah. when I watched that video. So well, a lot of people don't realize Bo Burnham's 67 years old. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so which one would you rather have? I'm going to go with the first one because I actually had that as a ringtone. Did or not the first really? one, the second one. John Lejean. John Lejean. I, I made that as a ringtone and had that proudly, and it, I fucking thought it was hilarious. Oh, so boy. I've got to go with that. And it's true. Women are stupid, and I don't respect <laughs> them. I just have sex. I mean, it's brilliantly, brilliantly oh. written. Yeah. I mean, oh, gosh. boy. Okay. I think I'm also going to go with <laughs> Show Me Your Genitals. I, I think that's way better. The me so horny, me love you long time thing it just would annoy me. This actually makes me laugh. Well, Jeremy, That's actually how Jeremy met his wife. That, I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, so I'm going with Show Me Your Genitals. to charge her $10. <laughs> okay. I'm going with that one. How about you, Jeremy? Oh, me so horny all day long. <laughs> um, that, that one, number one. Makes me think of my wife. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, okay. Who are the people <clears throat> who are going to hear this and judge you? One, either overly fucking woke yeah. kids yeah. Yeah. who are going to hear that first line and freak the fuck out on that. Whereas this, granted, during my day when that song came out, was like, I, I believe that was the song that that initiated the parental warning label really? on albums. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's okay. People of my age or older are going to hear that and go, Oh man, I love that fucking song. <laughs> and other kids are going to be like, compared to wet ass pussy, that's pretty tame. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> They're really not going to give a shit. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay. Fair enough. And it's true. I am so horny. I'm sure you are four times in a day, Jeremy, right? Damn right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, boy. Goodness gracious, guys. It's been an absolute excellent uh, 
show for today. Really? And, Where uh, have you been at? Uh, Jones. Are, yeah, it's Jones. Jones. Are you kidding me? Der- or, he got a fucking 1984 o- award. I uh-huh. think that's, that's a prestigious well, yeah, award. Yeah, it's it's a sure prestigious is. Award. A very prestigious award. It was then right. as it is now. That's right. It's been an excellent one, guys. Um, that now, lazy prick who plays the sled hockey ain't got nothing like that. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he's there's nothing wrong with him. He just sucks at regular hockey. Right. We, we all know that, right? Yeah. Good old Lucas. Hope you you're doing well, sit buddy. Down. Yeah, he's the Joanna man of still, hockey. That's right. <laughs> huh? Does he even still listen? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. I wouldn't. I know. No one either. Uh, but anyways, uh, do you guys have any uh, upcoming shows there, Derek? No, no, no? I just did uh, the last one I have booked for the year. So gotcha. I know that uh, Steve is going to be doing open mics uh, at uh, Vorshay's Lounge every other Monday. I think mm-hmm. is what it is. Uh, so if you're here in the Wichita uh, area, you can go to Vorshay's Lounge every Monday uh, or every other Monday evening, and you can see uh, open mics. I bet you that's going to be a good one too. You think so? When people aren't going to be. Steve isn't going to give a fuck. Mm-hmm. That like the Looney Bin, there's they kind of restrict, especially with new people who don't know what they're doing. They they want you to not say fuck so much, and oh yeah, you know. Whereas I got a feeling Steve's not going to have any content restrictions Probably at not. all. No. Yeah. You could actually go up there and fuck somebody, and he'd be fine with it. I'm sure he would. That's actually what I'm doing next Monday. Oh, Dude, that's going to be hilarious. That is uh-huh. going to be awesome. Uh, but no, uh, you got to put that in line or you don't want to burn that material. Yeah. Nah, you don't want to do it. No, No, absolutely not. I won't even need the light. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I didn't have to worry about me running the light. I fuck, I fuck fast. That's true. You do. You're Uh good at it. Good good hustle. You hustle. Right. Uh, but guys, uh, thank you so very, very much. We sincerely do appreciate all of you guys. I got sent a whole bunch of Spotify wraps, a couple of, uh, I think it was last week. Uh, a whole bunch of people that have thousands and thousands of hours of our uh, of podcast. Of Which is weird because we don't have thousands and thousands of hours of podcast. I think we that do. means you're no, we don't. Not close we, to it. We've got two hundred hours if they're <laughs> two hours each, which they're not. That's that means we, they listen to them multiple times. We have two hundred, little over two hundred episodes. Right, each it, show I do feels like it's been a thousand hours. No yeah. shit. <laughs> and and honestly, as much as I appreciate them listening to it. There's other content. Out there. <laughs> Seriously, but they I love mean, us. So. I, well, okay, but there's and other good us, people. There's Jeremy. plenty of good people. Yeah, <laughs> they tolerate well, me, and, that's, and then you're just there. That's I'm why you here. guys are making me leave. Nah, uh, man, no. Oh God, we would love you to to come back every once in a while. Whenever I will. You can. I know you will. Uh, but guys, thank you very, very much for those messages. Thank you again to Josh for this excellent award that he sent us. We, uh, I know, I know Jeremy he sent appreciate. Me. It. Yeah, he sent it to Jeremy. Uh, but thank all of you guys for helping the show. It continues to grow. Uh, thank you guys uh, from the bottom of our hearts. We Just a lesson. You notice how I didn't buy that. Yes, you did not. <laughs> you know what? I didn't buy this either. So suck it. I didn't suck somebody's dick online for it either. <laughs> True. I just was me, Scotty. Right. Yeah. Uh, guys, you earned yours. Yeah, You're damn yeah. right. You guys have a very safe mm-hmm. and Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Whatever it is you celebrate, go have a good one. Of happy that. Jew Day. That's right. <laughs> uh, but from the bottom of our heart, guys, thank you guys so much. And as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. And if you don't like us. Uh, we hope someone dressed up as Santa breaks into your house and you catch him red-handed and you shoot him right on sight. The first shot just grazes his arm, angering the meth fueled imposter of joy. But the next two shots, they hit him right in the chest, and you can see him struggling to breathe as blood starts to fill his lungs. And you watch as he chokes on that blood, and he takes his last breath. Meanwhile, you're so angry, you start kicking his lifeless body, yelling, Christmas is canceled, motherfucker! (laughs) And in this fit of rage, you glance up and you see your five-year-old daughter at the top of the stairs who's witnessed the whole thing and now strongly believes that you just killed the real Santa. Santa Claus. <laughs> oh God! Uh, and if you don't like Jingle us, these bells, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. if, so, you don't, if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Happy Kwanzaa, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asses. We will see y'all later. Take care.